Greetings! Welcome to Applied Machine Learning. I'm Carolyn Rosé and I will be the professor of this course. I've been teaching this course for about 10 years now. I designed this course and I love teaching this course. And I look forward to spending this semester with you. The main goal of this course is to teach you how to attack a practical problem using machine learning. So the centerpiece of this course is a project that you will pick. You will have the opportunity to pick either one of uh, a set of projects where we are providing you with a more concrete direction and the data itself, or you can go out and find your own data. Uh, it could be data that you get from some research project on campus. It might be data that you have from your job or just data that you have personally or that you have scraped from the web or that you found in some data repository. You're allowed to pick the problem. You'll have to check it with me and the TAs to make sure that it's a that you're scoping out a project that's doable within a semester. We want to make sure that you have a valuable learning experience doing your project. But what you'll see as you move throughout the semester, working on your project, which will be in line with the assignments, quizzes, exams in this course, is that you'll dig into issues like, how do I need to transform that data in order to make the prediction task that I want to do with it learnable? How do I know if I'm making progress? How do I identify what's weak about my representation? How do I make it better? These are things that take a lot of time and practice. You are not required to be a programmer to take this course. However, the more you know about computer science and programming, the greater advantage you'll have. Nevertheless, students from all over campus take my class and they all manage to do a project uh, satisfactorily. What I see is that the most important thing is that you come in with an attitude of, I'm ready for this adventure. I'm gonna put in the 12 hours. It's a 12 unit class. It'll take those 12 hours a week to be successful. But if you put in a good faith effort, you can do it. And we will do our best to support you along the way. The message of this course is that representation is the key. The machine learning algorithms are not magic. You play a big role in making your problem learnable. Please keep your eye on Canvas. That's what we're using as our learning management system. We're not using Blackboard anymore. When you go to Canvas and you click to open up the uh, account for this course and you go to the home screen you should see something like what you see here before you at the very top you should see the syllabus and you should see all the units of material that we cover in this course and you should keep your eye here because we will be posting the slides from each lecture answer keys for quizzes and homeworks and it's also where you turn in all of the assignments the project proposal, the project itself, and the exams. There will also be some supplementary readings that will be uh, posted throughout the semester. And so you'll definitely want to keep your eye here. Stay tuned because I'm going to be posting more videos along the way to this YouTube channel. And you will have the opportunity to propose topics for those videos. And if I pick your topic, you will get extra credit. Please be sure to buy the book. You can see here we're using edition four of this data mining book now. And we've been using this book since uh, its first edition many years ago. I've been teaching this class for a very long time. But this semester you will need the most recent edition, which is edition four. Many students have been asking for content related to deep learning, and I have heard your cry. And in fact, there's a great whole chapter on deep learning in the textbook, a very good introduction to all of the very basic paradigms of deep learning. So it's a really good intro. We'll be talking about that at the end of the semester. You'll see how it builds on many of the basic concepts that we'll talk about throughout the semester. So listen carefully, come to lecture, 
ask me questions, come to office hours. I'm going to be talking to you about all the support that we want to offer you along the way. We hope you have a great learning experience this semester. But please keep in mind that you cannot pass this course without reading the textbook and coming to lecture. And of course, doing all of the activities like the homeworks, the quizzes, and most importantly, the project.